Oh, look at that. Got him with his tongue hanging out. I hear da 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 da. Somebody's having a baby. The speakers as well. I hear ya. I'm fairly certain that track rides actually prevent the animals from crossing them. If not, yellow guests. What is going on with our elephant here? Are you okay, elephant? Oh, Lord. This is already going badly. Man, would you look at that? <laughs> I'll get straight to it, shall I? This is our great Caldera Safari Park. It's been quite a small operation until now, but we've just been donated some land. And so, like my waistline at Thanksgiving, <laughs> we're gonna expand. And I think the best way to finance that expansion is by finishing off our 4x4 adventure tour track ride. It'll be a wonderful way to let people safely see wild animals really up close. Although, if you've ever had a mandrel sit on your windshield during one, sometimes it's a little too up close. But the main focus of the sanctuary will be breeding and releasing animals of all kinds back into the wild. And as it's a sanctuary, we'll also have to take in animals sometimes. Does that all sound simple? Good, because there's more. We also need to make sure we educate our guests and achieve a very high conservation rating. Well, that's all. Off you go. Alright, so that's going to be about it. And we're apparently off. Release one of any habitat species into the wild. Build a transport ride of at least 2,297 feet. Increase education rating to 1.2 stars. Have at least 1,400 guests in the zoo. We're currently at 1,290. More attractive animals, more attractive guests. No, no. More attractive animals, more guests. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is already going badly. So let me take a quick look around and see where we're going to start. And how about pausing? Because uh, we're losing money as well. Yeah, so we lost $887. So that'll be the first thing I really need to take a look at is increasing some uh, some money in the park. And uh, then I'll find out where we're going to start building. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, and welcome back. So after taking a look around, actually this zoo is not that bad we have our african savannah elephants right here mixed in with some zebras some plain zebras and i think that's all that's in this enclosure let me double check real quick so yeah it looks like it's just the elephants and the zebras in this enclosure and then over here in this enclosure there are springbok with uh the reticulated giraffe oh look at that look at that image got him with his tongue hanging out Yep, is it him? Atkins. Atkins got his tongue hanging out. All right. And yeah, it looks like just uh, articulated giraffe and springbok in here. So taking a look quickly through the uh, through the Zoopedia to see what animals are actually available to me before I decide on what I want to do and can't do it. I did see that we do have the uh, black wildebeest available. So if you actually click on the black wildebeest and go to the Zoopedia and interspecies enrichment, you see it does get along well with the reticulated giraffe and the springbok. In order to go ahead and get some animals into the zoo, increase a bit more hype on our zoo, we can definitely go ahead and start bringing in those. Before we do that, though, there is one thing that I wanted to look at, and I ran around real quick and looked. And there's absolutely zero education anywhere in this park. They want us to get our education rating up. That's going to be a breeze. We literally can put down some education. So I'm going to take care of that and I'll be back in just a second. All right. And setting our last monitor here and setting that to the spring box, setting down our last speaker. And then we're going to go ahead and slot it back, eh, slot it over just a little bit. We've got a little bit of interference there you see the red line that means you're interfering with the other speaker which apparently makes the guest mad there we go so now if we take a look we're actually making some money and we're already educating some guests so guest education should start going up here a bit slowly but hopefully we'll start getting some uh, guest education going on all right so now we're going to run across here and do the exact same thing for the elephants and the uh and the zebra oh there's some hyena in here as well that we can do this with so let's definitely go ahead and take care of the hyena while we are here we have plenty of room to educate about hyenas and education is extraordinarily important in your zoo i'm surprised there is absolutely none in the zoo of course you know they need to teach us about it so this is what they do to us i hear da 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 Somebody's having a baby. 
I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to bring them with me. Maybe get rid of the heat map. I don't need it on just now, but maybe some education over on this side of the park. Oh, we have no power over here. Interesting. Why do we have no power over here? That's definitely something to take a look at. Power coverage. So we need to figure out why we have no power. We're going to go into our heat maps and then power. And yeah, we have zero power right through here. Zero at all. So one thing I could do is I can move that board down just a little bit to allow it to be covered since it looks like this area out this way is just going to be a dead zone so why don't we just do that there's no sense in actually putting in a speaker out or a education board out this way but we can put one maybe right out this way and once again it has gone to nighttime to on us and since there's no other speaker nearby let's just expand that one i would love to know what that is actually saying one of these days one of these days someone needs to actually translate the the language the whatever it is these folks speak and let me know what that is all right and then our elephants i hear you i hear you i just don't see you yet Ah, right, here they are out this way this would actually be a pretty good area for some education right here because guests can actually come right out here and look actually i kind of really like this as a matter of fact so go ahead and drop down i usually start with the uh the monitor first the education board and drop that down and then put up one of the speakers as well i hear you they're very excited this evening apparently and i do not like the heat map overlay when i'm trying to do this and once again no power that is kind of crazy because you would think that we would have power right here as a matter of fact there are lights just here so there should be power i would think but it says no power all right where's our closest transformer probably inside of this building no okay so we have a solar panel out here uh that could be why we are having power issues it is nighttime so let's let it go a little bit and see if we gain some power when the sun comes back up and also it would not be a horrible idea to actually put in uh, a backup system so we're just gonna let that run just for a minute and see if we gain power back while we're letting this run if you have not seen it yet I have started a new series on this channel for a sandbox zoo where I'm going to really be doing some uh, different and creative things. So I very much encourage you to check that out. Those episodes will be released on Tuesday. All right, so I took care of that. All I did was change out the solar panels that they had back here and I put in the uh, <laughs> the transformer. I love the elephant. I love when they trumpet. So yeah, I did that and that solved the power issue for now. Anyway, I do not want to move you. Stay there. Thank you. So now we do have power stretching out quite a bit further. All right. So we have already increased the guest education rating to 1.2 stars. We're still looking to have more guests in the park. The way to do that is to have more attractive animals and we'll get more guests in the park. I want to continue though working right now to get some additional education and the power issues fixed so I don't have this issue anymore. I'm gonna work on that real quick and I'll be back with you. All right and welcome back. So now that that's been taken care of and I have pretty much power everywhere that I feel like I need it. Let's go ahead and go into close this. I was taking a look at our guest education which is up to a full two stars. So that is doing much better. Let's actually go into animal trading and we want to get a black wildebeest, I believe is what it was. We'll double check the Zoopedia, make sure that we're putting them in with things that they're going to like. And yes, so we'll pick up this dude right here for 37 conservation credit and he is a gold star. So look at him. He is 67% full size, longevity of 83%, fertility of 83%, immunity of 83%. Yes. Please. We will pick you up and where is our closest, uh, where's the closest quarantine right over here? Because we do need to quarantine our animals when we first purchase them. If you're not doing that, that is something I would highly encourage you to do. So we're looking for another black wildebeest and go ahead and refresh the page and see if we can find us another black wildebeest. All right. And now we just get to play the waiting game of when am I going to get some more black wildebeest? So you just wait here. Hopefully by in the morning, we will have some and go ahead and speed some time up. Nope, oh, we have uh, over 1400 guests in the park now. That is absolutely wonderful. They must have heard about us getting some black wilted beasts and we'll just leave it on that page so I can see quickly if I get some. All right, just waiting on some black wilted beasts and uh, the black wilted beasts are currently in quarantine and they're the ones that are passing and ready to move out as soon as we get some more black wilted beasts. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be like last episode. I do not want to sit here for three days waiting on a black wilted beast. All right, so I have only been sitting here for about four years 
waiting, but now we finally have all of our black wildebeest. So we're going to go ahead and put them in the zoo. And uh, we're up to $76,000. We lost a little bit, bit of money here. We gained a little bit of money there. You know, just back and forth. But let's go ahead and select all of them and we will move all of them in here. Also, many of our animals, oops, there I go with the uh, escape button again. Many of our animals have been having babies. So it may be about time to start s releasing some of them to the wild because uh, several of them have been maturing during the course of this as well. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead. Can we? No, we cannot. So we have to wait until one of our keepers show up to actually put the black wildebeest in here. All right. And a new animal has arrived. Woohoo. Now I should be able to yep, go ahead and start getting some education going on about the black wildebeest. Now, I know there was a speaker. What did I do with said speaker? No matter, I can take care of that quickly. I'm black wildebeest, and let's move our speaker to somewhere other than on the ground in front of our guests. All right, and let's take a look. We should have our black wildebeest in here somewhere. Look, there they are now. All right, as the sun starts to rise on yet another day in the park, we're now up to right around $90,000, and I've had to get rid of one of our springbok because uh they were about to do things that we don't appreciate so the only thing left is to complete the ride transport or the transport ride i guess it would be i guess that's how most people would say it and we will have completed the bronze achievement so let's go ahead and get on that while everything else over here finishes up and we'll just kind of try and keep an eye on some of our other animals let's see what is this path for it goes underground where does it go let us follow it it looks like it's a staff path. Oh, it's just a way for them to get from over here to over here to work on this. Okay, very good. Trying to zoom out a bit so that we can kind of see where the other path is. It's right over there at the top of the screen. Can we auto-complete? Oh, we can, and that's actually not horrible. Let's see. Let's cancel for now. Can we move this tree out of the way? We'll just... uh yeet the tree over because that's the uh, height of realism there is just being able to yeet a tree anytime you need to all right so edit track back to autocomplete and what's it look like now much better i like that let's go ahead and complete that out and then we'll start a test and pause that real quick because i want to go for a ride oh and we have completed nice. the bronze objective that track ride is proving very popular with the guests you're really giving them a taste of Africa's wildlife. <laughs> and when the wind pleases, often a smell, too. Listen, I know there's lots more work to do here, but once you've finished, your next project will be something really challenging. Partly because I won't be around to offer advice. <laughs> I'm setting up a venture in the Arctic, which will take up all of my time. I might even get you involved in it one day. All right, and uh, so he's not going to be around to help us next time, apparently. Like, he's been helping us quite a bit here re recently. Scenario unlocked. Squeeze in the margins. And we've uh, unlocked our reticulated giraffe statue and also the grizzly bear. So those are very cool. Now, let's go for a ride. All right, and here we are in... They call it Train 1, which is the first... First vehicle, essentially. We're sitting in the back. We deserve it. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Because, you know, apparently the guests are loving it, even though it just opened and nobody's allowed to ride it. Whoa, look how up close and personal we get to get to the zebras. That's nice. All right, and now we just have to wait just a minute. We have to wait our turn, except I can speed up time. And we're off once again. I like the construction materials laying over there. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. All right, and here we are. I think this is in, in the nothing area. I don't think there's anything out this way. Not as of right now. We'll be soon, though, probably. And since there's nothing out this way, let's just go ahead and speed it up just a bit more. No sense in sitting here watching us do nothing. All right, and here we are in... With the articulated giraffes, the zebra, not the zebra, the springbok, and our uh, our new animal that we just put in, our black wildebeest. So I think that is pretty much it. Average speed of 8 miles per hour, maximum speed of 13 miles per hour, duration of 230 seconds. So I believe we are officially done testing this. Let's stop the test and we can exit. And there we go. It is open and allowing customers, but I wonder what is it charging? And it doesn't seem to matter what it's charging because guests are just 
funneling in here. That is amazing. So while they're doing that, let's go ahead and we've got some cool jams to listen to here. Go ahead and see what is on our next list of things to do. Three new habitat animals. That's been done. They've been breeding like crazy. Increase guest education to 1.7 stars. That was done. Adopt two new cheetahs. Very cool. And release any four habitat species to the wild. Well, we can definitely take care of that. I have noticed that there are definitely cheetahs in the uh, in the market, so we can go ahead and take care of that as well. First, let's go ahead and start taking care of some of uh, all these babies that we have up in here. You should not be an outsider, sir. You are the only male. And with a pan of females, you should definitely not be considered an outsider. All right, and looking down through our list, she is expecting offspring and where is our males ah yes here we are also expecting offspring not the males obviously he is considered an outsider so we will go ahead and release him into the wild for an additional 14 conservation credits all right and you are also an outsider i completely forgot that you can uh check multiples and do them all at one time there we go we'll release them into the wild as well all right let's go check on this habitat we seem to have encountered quite a few babies what is going on with our elephant here are you okay elephant call a vet over here immediately make sure our elephant is okay not very well enriched we'll definitely need to take care of that while we're over here oh oh she gave birth didn't she no you're 1.6 years old or are, are you okay yeah she seems fine okay all right she seems fine all right and there's nothing over here that we can uh that we can do in the uh elephant area they they're still okay with the amount that they have let's check on our spotted hyenas there is currently four males and one female and they're the only ones in here and let's check on where we are adopt two new cheetahs absolutely we can definitely adopt two new cheetahs and back into animal trading and so we only have one cheetah currently in here and she is a bronze let's uh let's wait a few minutes and see if we get any additional i really don't want to spend another four years waiting i will if i have to though all right and there is a male and female group that'll cost us uh 770 two conservation credits i think 773 conservation credit and we have uh currently 1695 so i guess we can go ahead and adopt both of these and we will send both of them into uh so they're both hanging out in the trade center so we do need to go ahead and get an area farm set up and i was thinking about maybe this area right in here so do cheetahs like water let's check our zoopedia and find about the cheat find out about the cheetah their group size is one to three including juveniles so two males and up to one female uh they are shy with humans and guests are not allowed to enter the habitat for obvious reasons and let's see what else does it say all right so i was just notified that our cheetahs are now ready to join their new home so we're going to take them over and put them in their new habitat which is going to be off in this direction all right and we're just waiting on our cheetahs to be delivered uh if you did not catch the um sandbox mode that i'm doing one thing i am doing is using some mods over there so apparently they're carrying over so one of them is a null habitat door there's obviously a habitat door there we just can't see it yeah and once again if you have not seen that please check it out i would highly appreciate that all right so it looks like one of our cheetahs is now being delivered right here there is our male all right and we have our male and female cheetah in here and they are looking pretty happy with the exception of some enrichment items so we definitely do need to go ahead and start some research on these these dudes and dudettes uh food enrichment we just don't have any we have plenty of toy enrichment so let me see real quick yeah so we have absolutely no type of food enrichment that they would like so what i did was i and this was actually quite a struggle just because of the way the game had already had everything set up i had to build a wall over here and like i was saying earlier and the uh sandbox mode that i'm playing i'm playing with some mods so one of them is null habitat doors so you can build a habitat and it looks like there is no door for the keeper to actually walk through which is kind of nice in certain situations like uh, like the one that we just did with our koi fish um, and other situations, you know, it'd be nice to have a door. Of course, I could go in here and be like uh, door and I could put in a door. I mean, that is an option. So, I mean, I guess maybe that's better than nothing. Not really just 
too 100% concerned with the aesthetics of this part now the other part definitely for sure and then uh, just went with chain link for the rest of uh, the rest of their enclosure with the exception of uh, right out here towards the uh, rod I wanted to leave that open so I'm fairly certain that the track rods actually prevent the animals from crossing them you know if not yellow guest okay whatever Good to see the breeding and release programs are going from strength to strength. That's the ticket. And I also see you've adopted a number of uh, cheetahs. You're, uh, <laughs> you're going to have your work cut out <laughs> keeping them happy. Cheetahs rarely prosper. <laughs> Sorry, I've been sitting on that ever since you got them. <laughs> right. Right. I should get back to packing. Now, where did I put those snow boots? And it looks like our leopard is going to try and make a break for it. And at the last second, it decides to stop. Wonderful. Perfect. So I was absolutely right in the fact that the track actually stops him. No, I really don't know. Um, I have heard that before that the track will stop them. But uh, what I really did is there is an old trick that a lot of Planet Zoo players use and it's elephant grass so it has a huge hitbox on it if you lower it just below the surface of the ground you can kind of hide it away and essentially because of the hitbox on the grass they can't pass it which is awesome it gives you the ability to do something like this where your guests can be on a track ride and can see the animal without having a uh, gate in between them so that's pretty cool but i think this is where we're going to wrap it up we're almost finished with this one so if you've enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you don't mind, please. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.